now the video. <laughs> All right, I can see everybody. Good. All right, I'm going to call this meeting to order, our first meeting of 2024. And who's going to take minutes? Who would like to take minutes? And Daryl, <laughs> All right. Let's pass this down to her. Very nice. Okay, thank you. All right, can we look over our December 11th and December 18th minutes? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we have to roll call. Follow the agenda. <laughs> All right. So we'll do you. Your roll call, and then you don't have any other Okay. All right. Roll call. Terry Bernie Bissett. Here. Nancy Coddington. Here. Cheryl Mills. Here. All right. We're going to establish a quorum. Is that the right one? Iris is out. Oh. Uh, Look over your December 11th and December 18th minutes. We did. I'm pretty sure. All right, everyone approve. Do we take? Do we vote on that? You like move to pass consent agenda. Okay. And so you just yeah. So you're you're voting on pass the consent agenda, which would be both minutes and same. Yeah. Okay. That'd be a motion. Mm -hmm. And I can make that motion. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes for December 11th. Well, just, just approve the consent agenda. Make a motion to approve consent agenda. Okay. Now vote. Yes. Terry Bernie with that. Yes. Nancy Coddington. Yes. Cheryl Mills. Yes. And myself. Yes. Let her do the roll call since she's got the roll call. Oh. Okay. I'll get this down. So, is approving that our first item on the list? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, it would be right down. Most of the approved consent agenda. David and Terry. Yes. Did you bring up Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm missing in that chair. I'm trying to take all those notes on this. Agenda as I go. Yeah. It's your official. Okay. Vice Chairperson Jacob? Yes. Terry Burns. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Reports from officers and council liaisons. Report by tree board liaison. She, I'm going to help Krista out. Um, Krista just received an email. Um, the Communication form between the tree board and making a recommendation to council. And those two recommendations that were emailed to uh, Council Member Richardson were when y'all made the motion for the $1,500 for the a new tree and then $1,000 for the desert road. Mm -hmm. And since Iris didn't give those to us to staff before the cutoff for the council agenda this month, 
but this Wednesday is going to appear on the 24th meeting. Okay. So that's where we're going. All right. <laughs> I'll just hang out here for a minute. <laughs> Oh, okay. Reports of special committees are none. Special orders are none. Unfinished business and general orders. Number four, discuss and take a possible action on scheduling a training day for the tree survey software with myself, Jason Delbro. Um, I was thinking about this earlier today and if we could start the tree survey in March and go over the training on our March, um, our March meeting would pretty much just be a training, a training session for the software. The board meeting. Mm -hmm. okay. The March board meeting would be a training session for the tree inventory software, and then that would give us a month to do. Um, and then we can report back with our findings in our April meeting. And that would be uh, March 11th? Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't look that far. <laughs> I believe so. March 11th, yeah. And so it would be a training as well. A training as well. What do y'all think about that? Does that sound? Would, if we were to report back for the April 8th meeting, would that be enough time to do the survey? Mm -hmm. well, would, would that be enough time? To... I don't know if to take that. The survey. Sorry, yeah. I don't know how long our last survey took. Um, I wasn't a part of it. So I think if we split up into our groups, um, which is three separate groups, it could take a weekend, maybe two weekends. Do we have a number of trees? Do you know how many we have? Four, I, you know what? I think it was roughly 1,200. Three. 1,200. Yes, so three 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 three. Just wood trees. Yeah. Okay. And there's three group? Three. If we need to extend the time, we can definitely go into. Well, and a lot of those trees are locked together, right? Mm hmm. But I thought it'd be kind of late because the trees will already be on. Well, I was thinking March, we could actually start seeing the health of the canopies at that time. And that would be an early. Early, early enough that we could. Just, it's not going to be too hot. They just got into the morning. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. I mean, I, I, I can tell the difference, and I wanted to. Well, at least if we have a survey, you know where the trees are, we know that the Any questionable trees in our church? Any like questionable trees that. You know, I'd like to just knock it all out at once in yeah. one spell swoop. So what if we waited till April where all trees are are leafed out? Are we what the are they going to use a deal? We're gonna talk about that later, but I think in April, the end of April. Mm -hmm. Well that's one part of right now. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm not the one who is talking about that. I'm not Hmm. I would agree if we could, if you think that the health of the trees or what the trees are looking like by March, we could knock it out. Um, There's sim similar weather, <laughs> weather patterns. I mean, it's not very hot in April here. I just well, anticipate like, another event happening in April that we're going to talk about. Okay. So maybe not having too much going on in April. Um, and you know, May, May, May is a good month too. Um, it's still not going to be extremely hot. Well, could we do it and do the tree survey in late March before the April? Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Would that be the goal? To get so, done before the April 8th meeting? 
It, yeah, as long as you get it done before the April April meeting, um, I think that would be good. I just I want to plan the training as close to the start of the the inventory as possible while it's fresh on everyone's mind. So I don't want to schedule it for March and then we don't get started until <coughs> April or May. <clears throat> so what do y'all think? I say we schedule it for schedule the training for that Monday um, meeting, Good the March meeting, and then plan days. I don't know how if we already have a map established, how we're breaking down the areas, or if we can do the map. Yeah, we have a we have a pretty good map. I, I thought it was a great map um, that they used last year. And it's basically the city broken down into three sections, north, south, and central. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can choose who breaks up with who, um, probably during the training. We can divide into groups and conquer the inventory the whole month, month of March. Okay. March sounds good. Let's do it. Um, yeah. All right, can I make a So I'd like to make a motion that we move forward with scheduling the uh, training day for the tree survey on Monday, March 8th. I'll the 8th or the 11th? 11th. Or sorry, the 11th. Okay. I'll put the Really? Oh, March okay. So we need to reschedule that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the over by four thirty. Oh, really? Okay. What did you say was that thing? The, the eclipse. Is oh. that right? Yeah. It's a full solar, full mm -hmm. solar thing. No. Totality. Let it start in the morning. Well, uh, we had started in the morning, and full totality is at one thirty or something. Do I need to add any other details to the motion? The motion, other than that we're going to schedule the training on the March eleventh. Potentially breaking, dividing into groups. I don't know if that needs to be done. Yeah, no, y'all already did that. Oh, okay. Several months ago, talked about doing the survey and. Put into groups and made assignments. Y'all remember that? Uh, no, I think we're going to do that. Well, we can go back in a minute and see what it says. But okay. I, mean, I don't think you need to need it in the motion. Okay. You know, you just, you know, you know basically you just want to have the training on the software. On the software. Okay. That's your person in Jacob. Aye. Terry? Yes. Nancy? No. Yeah. All right. Item number five discuss and take possible action regarding. Engagement of Carl Flocky to the city map of, of Oakville in public parks and rattlers, including Oakville hot zones and a comprehensive tree management plan. Um, do we know what you can charge for that? Do anybody know what you're talking about? I thought it was going to be nothing. Oh, I don't think he could. Oh, I don't think he can charge. Okay. It's it's all Order. You need to have a motion to approve before we can discuss. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah
You should have a motion on the table. You should have a motion on on this item in order to start discussing. Yeah. So you you uh -huh. read it into the record. So it says I move. And oh. Then you get a second, and you can mm -hmm. then move it. Yeah. Okay. I'll move to um, discuss taking coffee action regarding the invasion of coffee. I'll second. <laughs> Around. Okay, so, uh, and he'll just do that in his own time and report back to me. So, how does that work? Don't know. Okay. Okay. Is, is Iris in communication with him? I have no idea. Okay. Were you going to contact Carl or Nancy? Not me. Not you. Where's the man? Did I say that? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think really. I think yeah, so. I think yeah. Really? It's somewhat. Yeah. 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 For today, I think so. Um, I'll bring it. Um, yeah, it's discussed with some possible action, so I think it was brought up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I remember seeing that. Okie okay, doke. Is there anyone that would like to reach out to Carl Flocky about these issues? Volunteers? Does Iris have him? I, I, I spoke with her and she hasn't. I would have thought she'd be the one. Um, well, um, since Iris is sick, I can I can take that on. Do we have his number? Uh, yeah, I we have his email. Yeah. And, uh, And it would be this yellow map area here. Just the city property. Um, here, is that all in yellow there? Negative. Negative. I thought we had a map. We I, we do have a map of city city owned property. But I thought we had. I don't know. I have to look. Um, I'm doing my notebook. Hold on. I just sent you Carl information for me. If you want to follow with the map, this is what we have. And so we'll need that before the next meeting or before we start our. We'll, we'll table this and um, bring it back up at our next meeting. If okay. you have it done, great. If not, then we'll table it again. Okay. Sure. I mean, I, I've worked with them a little bit if you haven't. I haven't. You know, so, so we can throw this away. Okay. Okay. What's our procedure for tabling a item? Just put table. Then it, if, if it's tabled, you know, it automatically comes on your next agenda. You know, just the. You can also move to postpone, you know, either indefinitely or to a specific time. Um, so those are the, the basic, you know, tabling motions. Okay, then number five is tabled. Does that sound good? I don't need this motion anymore. Or the table. Or the motion. No, the motion. Motion. You, you can just say that it was table. You know, the motion was table. Okay. Or you can also withdraw the motion, which just takes it off the table entirely. You just write that and then 
I'm going to make a motion to discuss and take possible action on preliminary discussion of the Spring Harbor Day celebration. You made the motion, right? I made a motion. All right, thank you. I'll second. Okay. Wonderful motion, sorry. Oh, uh, so my motion was to discuss and take possible action on pre preliminary discussion and spring Arbor Day celebration. Uh, item number six. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have it in this. You did. I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, and we're going to have it in the same location, correct? Let's talk about it. Okay. Well, I thought it works well. I don't think anybody liked it. What do you do? I think it. I think it was a good spot. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, would there be anything y'all want to do? I thought we had we had it pretty well covered. We had three tracks. I think it's too early in the day. Or no, it's too year. early in the year. Well, I think why do we have to? I can understand. You know, uh, I was talking about having a run. Okay, I think that's fine. But to, to do all the other stuff that we did uh, in November, I don't think it's necessary. If you want to have a run, have a run, and and work within the framework of just having a run. And not all the other stuff that goes into that. That would get in November. That's not the one about it. So Okay. I don't disagree with that at all. I think um, our November event was good. Maybe possibly using the triangle as a starting point for a run and then measuring out throughout the city. Uh, what is it? What, what is the 5K? Is that three miles? Mm -hmm. So measuring three miles throughout the city, making that our, our ending point. Would that be a possibility? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, that's just something I just now thought of. Uh, mm, how, how well attended was the run? Would there be a lot of cars? Well, I think you have to consider if we do the do a fun run, fun walk. Um, is just the logistics of where people would actually be running. Um, I think if we were to, I don't have any brainstorm ideas as far as location, we could drive as obviously a very busy road. We're not even closing in. So figuring out what the best track would be, whether it's maybe and what would facilitate as far as parking for people to come. Like we wanted if a fundraiser the goal is to bring people in, even outside of Woodbury to raise money for the how are you gonna use what well, what are the funds you're gonna raise? You would sell tickets to this run and that would go into the tree planting fund. Uh, I don't like that. Um, you know it's a community thing. I don't think that People should have to pay for that within our community. If you're going to open it to the world, so to speak, then that's when you can, uh, you know, when you can start charging. But I don't think to um, for people to have to enter into the one at this point. I think they well, would want. But wouldn't it be like a fundraiser for the tree? Mm -hmm. So the funds would go into the tree fund, tree planting fund. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what a good yeah, idea yeah, would be a donation. Kind of the whole point of doing it was to raise money for the tree board. Uh -huh. So, if that is not something we all want to do or we don't want to charge anybody, I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, just because yeah. there's a lot of logistics that go into it. There's, yeah. we have to get sponsorships, we have to plan on a map, and we would, 
there's a lot more than just let's meet here and go on a run unless we want a casual Wood Creek walk. <laughs> and we all just meet up and walk. I'd be more in favor of doing something like that. Sure. Okay. It just, you know, rather than jump into it um, full speed ahead, not knowing where, if it's going to be worthwhile or not. Because it's a lot of work. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. um, and I understand about, uh, you know, we could, um, um, uh, we could have a, um, a raffle of where people could buy tickets for the raffle, but, um, I don't like the idea of charging people within the community to come and participate in the run. I mean, I, I wish, and how much are you talking about? I mean, I like what Jacob was saying if we call it a donation, so it's optional. So that way, you know, yeah. it's like a ten dollar donation, fantastic. If that's not something that they want to do, then they don't have to. They still want to participate. Yeah. So I think that was kind of. It's okay, but. Uh, so that means that those people that are willing to pay uh, ten dollars for a say to run, and people that aren't, they still can run. I the idea of the the fun run, and I I think we should take this. We don't want to charge tickets. The idea was to create a way to make fun for the tree board to plant more trees in the city, um, and with let's say I'm going to just throw out a number, we could. Talk about numbers with it. Let's say it's a $25 registration fee, and you would get the t shirt, you would get your bit, like we would make it an actual rate. One thing that I think we would be, and I don't, to be very transparent, I don't know if we'd have enough time to plan this for April. Um, and maybe it could be a fall event. There's no big, Wimberley really doesn't really have, other than the polar 5K, they don't really, we don't really have anything. Um, so we could even do our own little turkey trot, like. It was just a fun way to raise money. Um, if we want to do our Arbor Day in the spring, I would say let's do a repeat of November and push the fun run, push the run to a different time. Um, especially if we're not on the same page as far as making it a, a fundraising event. Well, if we're, to get, if we're doing like numbers and t-shirts, then we definitely have to charge for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Um, there's no way around it. Our budget's not that big. Well, it would have to be police too, right? It would have to be. Yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. I don't know if y'all talked to Kevin at all about no, the logistics of, you know, sort of cutting yeah. the streets and things for a run. We haven't. The only, and this is all just kind of brainstorming talking ideas. It was, I know the golf course has done races for the track team, mm -hmm. um, and it's right there at the beginning of, I think, the, the first hole, maybe, Got, doing a couple of laps around the clubhouse mm -hmm. in that parking lot area, and oh, we do three laps, mm -hmm. it's like three miles. Um, if you do one, it's one mile. Um, so I think we have a good relationship <laughs> with Joe down the future. Like, I think that could be a really fun thing that we could put on. Um, as a community and make it beneficial as far as creating a tree, you know, putting money into our fund for trees. Um, but I think we're getting down to, if we're doing a survey, like putting it all in April and then it's, I, I would say do one or the other. And I think at this point in time, maybe we do a repeat of Arbor Day from November. Um, and then once we all wrap our head around the idea of doing a fun run, He's just the logistics of that. Do you have Arbor Day last weekend in November, in April? In April. If we're wanting to move our, our Arbor Day celebration to actual Arbor Day. National Arbor Day. National Arbor Day. Government, no, National Arbor Day can be either, either one. It can be either April or November. Depending on the state. I don't know what it is for the state of Texas. Well, so one's a National Arbor Day, and then you have State Arbor Day. So our State Arbor Day is, uh, I think, like the first week in November. And then actual National Arbor Day is at the end of April. Well, then what what happened to Earth Day? 
Well, so we had voted to not do Earth Day and Okay, but there's still that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking what happened to Earth Day, it still exists. Uh -huh. They're both we're, we're, we're a tree board, and I know Earth Day was great, uh, a great celebration, and it, it, it celebrates the progression of us living amongst the Earth. Yeah. But we're a tree board. Um, yeah. Focus on trees, is my opinion. I think it's like April 20th. Showing through people showing up, but also for the community, we're not asking them to come to back to back things in a busy rolling into the holiday season. Yeah, but they did right. The, the Texas Arbor Day is the first Friday in November, where the National Arbor Day is the last Friday. Mm -hmm. So, my next question is Are we now working off of our 2024 funding? Do we have the full $1,400? Yes, it starts in October. Okay. So, what if, what about our? Do we have rollover from last year? Our seven. Oh yeah, your budget just you know, your budget is set every year. It's not it doesn't like rolling out. Your well, tree we fund does. I mean, yeah. like if you raise money for a tree fund and it's going in a separate fund, that rolls over. Your budget is set every year. Okay. And it changes every year. Okay. So we have a pretty big budget for potentially one event in April. What does that sound like to y'all? <clears throat> Yeah, time. I think so. I think so. We can all go together pretty quickly in November. As long as we know what we need. I'm talking about April. 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 Yeah, I'm saying last. And this is going to be our Arbor Day event. Yeah. I believe, yes, our Arbor Day event. Um, I think it's a great idea. I mean, we're not going back to back, like Cheryl said, but um, spectacularly. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing I would say about the fall is that, you know, if you're going to give away any trees or anything, you could have a friend and all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, you know, I've got that tree sitting around. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's been <laughs> done. We have a well, lot of people <laughs> in Texas and they're surviving. Um, it's just, it would be the very last. Month that I have a plan. Yeah. And no, I'm okay with April. And we have a large budget. So, should we table it? Yes. Or, or what do you need to have a large budget to to do the event? To do the event. So, we have a full 2024 um, budget. budget. So, our whole yeah, $1,400. Oh, instead of putting it more towards the event, why not just put it towards the trees? Because we have a whole separate fund for our birthday celebration. Yeah. Okay. In order to keep our community designation, we have to celebrate our birthday. Right. Part of the requirement. Yeah, we well, understand. I understand that. We don't have to spend fourteen hundred dollars. No. And and we a lot of I think we could say seven fifty. What was our budget for our birthday for November? So I think it was it's, we came in it was seven hundred. We didn't even spend six hundred dollars. And it, we we had a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. it was it's an awesome yeah. building. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And how much did you make? It's going to be on the new website. Mm -hmm. We're redoing the website, and it's going to have more opportunity for graphics and things. So mm -hmm. That's one of the. What was asking is how much? How much? Uh, Money that was realized from the event that went into uh, the next event. That's something we'd have to ask our our council about. When Unless the money was realized. Yeah, I mean, um, for, for instance, how much money did you make 
a a was there any other money sent over on as a It was not a fundraising event, no. Oh, it wasn't a fundraising event. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that would be like April 26th or 27th if it was on Saturday. Mm -hmm. huh? So, the 27th, that would be a Saturday. So, because the time is short between now and end of April, really, that would be a good thing done. Um, you know, if this is something that you don't want to do, you should move to go forward with an Arbor Day celebration on April, whatever day. Um, and um, and instruct staff and to um, you know work with the board on plans and giving a role in that. And getting it in the uh, so do we make a motion? Sure. Yeah. yeah, that way you can that way you can go to work on it. Board. Yeah. And and so you can still have special meetings and you know for planning and things, but uh, yeah. you know the other thing you might want to do is form a you know a subcommittee, you know, a, a yeah. couple of you yeah. that are uh, working together so you're not working in forum. I think we can pull it off. Mm -hmm. uh, we just need to get out and get some donations and mm -hmm. I'm happy to work on that with whoever. Uh, so I'll make a motion that we uh, plan. For uh, all the day event to be April 27th, Saturday, April 27th, to come on Friday to National Day. And uh, doing the event like we did last year. Correct? I will second that. Okay. <laughs> and you can write that however you want. <laughs> Twenty-eighth of April is our other day celebration. Twenty-eighth, not twenty-seventh. Twenty-seventh is the Saturday. Yes, it's Saturday at the Triangle. Um, Our third annual. Yeah. Wow. This way we can get in the calendar for the city, and when you start, yeah, doing all the advertising and and work on it. So. You know, been approved. I mean, after you vote, you know, be approved that you're going to do it and you can begin planning and implementing. Good deal. Okay. Yeah. Take a vote. Uh, Terry? Yes. Nancy? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being there. And Jacob? through the Texas A&M Forestry Service. Have um, y'all looked into that? I don't know anything about it, but I would think we should, do we need to wait till we have our tree survey? We do. Uh, I don't think so. No. I was looking it over. Uh, that's that's 
-hmm. So I think it's something we can start poking at and at least start looking into. And if we don't make the deadline, it's not the end of the world, but we kind of have an idea of what to expect for um, future grants. Right. So you're saying if we don't make the deadline, then we'll just come back to it next year. Yes. And if y'all would, would do y'all think it's a good idea to break up into a committee to work on this? We don't have a lot of time. We have so little time. We have less than, or just over a month. I think it's worth it to dive into, I know there's a few different categories and that's what A through D is on this um, agenda. Um, and so there's different grants that you can receive based on those. So like the climate grant is for $150,000 grant. The human health is for $150,000 grant. Um, the municipal is a hundred thousand dollar grant, and then the tree planning they give up to ten twenty thousand dollar grants. Um, I think it's worth looking into. Maybe we start with a tree planting and maybe the climate, <laughs> or we can all take one and look into it and come back, report back like next week because we are obviously in a very good front. I'm on it now. I'm doing research on these grants. Mm -hmm. Did or did not? She's not in on the Oh, yeah. you're not in on the grants. <laughs> no, no grants, huh? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't mind grants. It's just a, the amount of time that we have to put it together. I mean, amount of time each one of us would have to take it was, it was uh, to to delve into it to um, get a realistic idea of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think this people. grant's going to be available next year? I, I don't know. And then uh, their yeah. annual grants, yeah. I don't know enough about them. So yeah. what we submitted? Huh? Who submitted the agenda? Uh, Iris. Um, there's one other grant. I think this is actually a portion of it, but it's the Inflation Reduction Act through federal. Mm -hmm. So taxes was awarded. Um, 21 million to put towards their urban forestry. So I think this is part of it. Um, I think it's worth looking into what we don't get done this year, we can get done next year, and we kind of already have our feet wet on the uh, on the idea. Now, are these grants that just cover the state of Texas? The, it's the state of Texas only. Yeah, I understand that, but. So these grants are just um, not for Central Texas, but they're for the whole state of Texas. Yes. Competition, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't play well with others, then we need you. <laughs> you know. So are, are we still can decide to put the committee on it? Well, I like the two ideas, whether we need break into a committee and that committee looks into all four all four of the um, A, B, C, and D, or oh, okay. we each take one on and we bring it back to the table um, at our next meeting. Gonna have to it. When's no. the deadline? The 16th. February. No, you don't have to do this. I mean, the, the only way you're gonna be able to get this done is somebody say, oh, you know, I've got some people. Oh, you know, I, I can, so you could you could as a as a board direct someone or a couple of people to take it on, and if in fact it looks doable, you know, write up the grant for and then and then send it through, you know, you and Iris um, as they go, you know, so or not. But you could also take a look at it and say it's just not worth it. We're not going to be able to pull it off and report that back to the chair. Okay. As a tree board, can we designate a council member to do this? Who? 
<laughs> well, if you're the liaison, I mean, she, I mean, Krista has, Krista has every right to say, I would love to be able to help on that. Um, or, okay. like, you know, it's like you're asking for volunteers and you can ask a council member or mayor or anybody else. Any, anybody. But if it's, but if it's board members, you know, you're limited to how many people can work on a good forum. Oh, but right. Krista doesn't count for your forum. Um, nor somebody that's not even on the pre board. If they wanted to, you know, hey, I'm a front fighter, I'm gonna do that kind of stuff, I'll work with you on it. They and they don't count against your the the city, do they have any grant writers or a company that they use? Well we have a company called Grantworks that um that will uh will you know help us on grants, but you know, I don't know that they'd be into like the, you said there's like twenty thousand dollar grants for tree planting. That's probably the most loved after the freeze and having to replace, you know, lost, you know, damaged trees throughout the city. That would be a pretty easy grant to write, I would think. But I don't think grant work would take a twenty thousand dollar grant. You know, because that's that's how they make they don't we don't pay them, they make their money as a cut of the grant. Oh and oh, and, oh, oh. and not every not every grant I mean grant they're used to it and they allow for it in the in the formulas. But you know, I don't know on a grant this size. Chris Grummer would be a good one to talk to. He's done a lot of work for him. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'd be interested in helping, you know, I mean learning from Chris also on how to do this whole process. So I would say given the the timeline that we have as far as the deadline being the 16th of February, I think this is a lot of really good information to take in and maybe make it a goal to get our applications in through the summer. 2025. Or it'd be 2024. Yeah, the, it opens, I think, the sem mid December and it closes in mid February. So I see. We yeah. take what we have here, look through this information. It's a lot. Like, I have no idea the process of brain writing. Yeah. And um, and what I'm yeah. Uh, what I'm doing, so I'm out. <laughs> I think if we're moving Arbor Day to April, like yeah. adding this on top of our yeah. plate, yeah, that's, that's I think wow. this is good exposure to familiarize ourselves with the opportunity and start, research. and start researching and have it as a goal to get our applications in come December when the application window opens again. December twenty four. Uh huh. Because there is definitely money out there that we could. Are we now? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, every year. I'm, I hate to assume, but I. The infrastructure thing is. Looks like it. Not tied directly to this, but it. Mm -hmm. Listen. Oh, the, the are you talking about the inflation of the urban forestry thing from the inflation? Oh, and the inflation reduction act. Right. So not tied to this. So it's, it's, it's actually yeah. No, what what we potentially could do with the Inflation Reduction Act is have funding to hire a certified arborist as a city employee okay. with a with a reasonable wage. Okay. Um, okay, we can't really discuss that specifically, it's not a, but it should be. I mean, if it's something that we can look at. For your next meeting and put it on the agenda for mm -hmm. for um, action to be taken to you know apply through the um, and there's more to it. I have a couple emails from uh, this lady Beth Corrigan. She does my inventory um, analysis, so she was telling me about it, and I'll put it on the next agenda. She was, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Of a lot that goes into it. So as far as we're not going to apply in February, is that the census I'm getting? But we're not even going to try. I mean, we can look it over as much as we want individually, but we should. Do we need to make a motion to attempt an application in December? No. No, nope. not at Not now. I mean, you can. There's nothing. Nothing says you can't. You know, can't do it. But if we don't have to, we should. Yeah. So, so it's like what you've got now. You've got a motion on the table to dis to discuss, mm -hmm. take possible action, and say no action was taken. Um, or you can you can um, 
move that you know some actually have a, someone or something or, or the board you know take up the process um in december you know but it's not necessary i mean if it's just on your on your calendars you know that's really all you need is to put it on the agenda for november yeah uh -huh. to do it in december but you know that uh, that the motion is in this it's like it would be a formality as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can open this up in November. Oh, it's it's no not... action. Is... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, just looking through in here, you know, I talked a little bit about the application process, and then it says, I mean, it says long your applications can take months to develop the final deadline, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it says applicants should be using the time from announcement of September. To December to determine their grant proposal, all that stuff, and then Ooh, so they're basically saying like if you're gonna apply in February, start in September. Mm. Okay, that, that's really good. It's gonna be long. We're gonna start now. Um, all right, so so you can you can you know postpone you can post the motion on the floor, you know, which is just to discuss and take action. You can postpone specifically to, you know, that September meeting or August meeting. You know, so you can say, you know, we're gonna we're going to postpone, you know, this time. this decision until September. Put that on the record, and then it's on. And that is a motion. It would it would be yeah it would be the motion. Any motion, motion, the, motion, motion. the motion would actually be to to postpone. Action until you know the September meeting or August meeting, whenever y'all want to talk about it to you know get the get the wheels rolling. If you if you have to have a September start, mm -hmm. uh huh. I wonder when this comes. All this information comes out. Does it not come out until September? Um, I mean, uh, let's just reference uh, this the Texas Tree Conference that they hold in September. Um. So I. Yeah, and the reason I'm asking is, uh, it might it be different next year than it is this year? Yeah. Oh no, I mean, we can always just reach out to you. Reasonable thing. Mm -hmm. Or just you know, if this is listed in one twenty two. Yeah. Does anyone want to make a motion on the postponing until September or uh, no action? I'll make a motion to postpone taking uh, discussion. I will make a motion to postpone discussion and taking action um, on item number seven until our August meeting. I'll second that. Okay, number eight, discuss and take possible action to develop a tree care management plan for the city of Wood Creek. That's a, it's a big can of worms. Well, that's where the survey comes in too, right? I think a survey would be a big portion of this as far as breaking down work and where problem areas are. Yeah. Yeah, hazards. Uh, we'll probably use. Personally, I would break down my work and through through the through the inventory and say we're going to work on Wood Creek Drive this year, or we're going to work break it down into quarters. Um, work on extreme hazards. So yeah. Um, Having the survey done would be a big help, but maybe not necessary. What does that mean? We can start a tree management plan without the survey. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so a management plan, when I when I think of one, would be starting out with getting 
up to code our ordinances up to uh, up to date with with what the ordinance is requiring so that would be sign pruning uh, pruning around signs um, right away like the street that would be a good place to start and uh, we could go on from there or hiring a company to come up with a management plan like Carl Flossie because I believe I our hire Carl Flossie no you won't hire yeah uh, well so the discussion with Carl Flocky mentions a management plan, mm -hmm. which I kind of think is out of his realm. He's not going to tell you yeah. what's what's hazardous or not. He specifically deals with the overall portion. What about uh, uh, you know? If there's an arborist in the future of oh, that person taking on this kind of responsibility. I think in the future we can give him the management plan. Okay. <laughs> so if we can come yeah. up with the management plan and then we can um, give it to him to do with what he wishes, he or she, they. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fine. So, <laughs> so just so so I understand, so, so a typical free care and management plan would say, okay, so well, we've identified these things that need to be done right away. Mm -hmm. And we've identified these things that, you know, that are pending but not critical. Um, and there's these things that we need to plan for five years down the road. Is that what it, what it does? So when I develop a management plan, that's what I look for is our 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 urgency and then the things that we can do to improve and then basically from there um come up with planting sites that would be a part a part of the management plan is um planting planting sites not necessarily would it, think, but planting sites would it also include um you know part of the, the oak wilk stuff then that the we're asking carl to do I think they would judge them. So like part of our management plan is how to we manage Oakville, right? How to, how to, yeah, yeah. You got to manage Oakville and other disease. So this says take possible actions. What are some possible actions that we can take? Can I ask just another silly question? Uh, but when you do this. Who's going to do the work? We would have to contract that out. And the city has a fund for that tree work. Okay. Um, actually, by the Tree City USA requirements, we're required to spend um, $2 per capita on tree work, which is easy to get to with our amount of people, but we, we we have a fund for that. So any of the work that we find, we would open it up to bids. Um, is that right? Yeah, yeah. There, there's a couple of different areas of the budget that are kind of kind of um, uh, you know relatively flexible as far as how it would be applied to to you know tree work. But there's you know there's money in the you know like a green space area. There's there's money in oak wilt management. You know so there's a few different a few different line items in the budget that you could draw from to do this. So if you said if you said okay well we're going to need you know somebody to consult on this. Um, well there's expense there obviously. Mm -hmm. So okay so we're going to need X number of thousands of dollars to get you know some somebody in here that can can handle this heaven where can we suggest that money come from and then the the council would have to say okay we approve that you know you would you would have to request the, the budget from the council uh approved to to do those things whatever that is so, but your job as as a tree board in my opinion would be to sort of write up the proposal to the council that says okay we need a 
as you know, just part of our requirements, you know, as, as Tree City USA, but also just looking at at the um, you know tree ordinance and everything else we're sworn to protect. Um, we need a tree care management plan. I mean, that's pretty clear. So, um, so we know that you know we we know kind of what we need, but we, we don't have that skill. We talk to you know somebody that knows how to do this stuff, and you know, so we need about X number of thousand dollars. Okay. So, so you're proposing that to the council said, you know, we worked with the city manager and probably the most appropriate area to take funds from would be this and that. So there, you know, it's like there's no question that. So it's not a, it's not really a, a budget amendment. Like like a budget amendment is like, okay, I'm gonna take money from salary and buy a car with it. Right? Mm -hmm. That would be, you know, that would be something that would really require hardcore. But if it's something that's already designated toward you know, you know, our natural resource of, of trees um, and green spaces, then, you know, moving that money is a lot simpler. Okay. But it's not going to come out of your 14 years old. Yeah, we're again focusing on oak wilt, but there's other trees. <laughs> well, so something that um, did just not cross my mind is what what is our newest area that has potential habit? I haven't seen any potential hazards, but it's a high risk area and has trees over it. Is our playground. Mm -hmm. Um potentially me having that as our first place to have tree work done and only hazard. I mean it's not getting too detailed with it, but I know my kids go play there mm -hmm. and um last thing I want is a limb falling on them. <laughs> Uh, so if if like you want to, like <laughs> um, I think one of the actions we can take is um, addressing hazards in our high traffic public spaces. And this is something that we have to trade border for you. That's what you're saying. Not personally. Unless you want to, I have a rope and saddle, we can get you up the tree. No, that's okay. <laughs> I just want to, I want to take pictures of that. <laughs> uh, is that. Is this going to require a consultant? Yes. Okay. And um, will there be enough money in the funds to uh, hire this consultant and also do all the work that needs to be done based on what he said, what she said. I think we would have to ask counsel. Well, and, and well, we have identified one I mean, space that we want to look at is the park, the kids' park. I mean, that would be a priority. But I mean, between now and October, when you've got a you know a new budget time, a new budget period begins in October. Um, you know, chances are you would not working with a consultant, whether you have a full blown you know, tree care management plan, you know, submitted and approved by this body. Um, if you get that done by October, that'd be pretty amazing. Um, you know, frankly, the way things move. Um, so, uh, so you know, you can you can say that you will, you know, that this group wants to go out. Um, and solicit um, bids from from um, consultants on a tree management plan, but that you know you as a board have already recognized that part of that tree management plan is looking at the most urgent areas. But you don't have to wait for the consultant to go do pruning at at the playground. You know that's but that is part of part of the management plan. Is to you know number one issue is look at the most urgent yeah. issues, right? Yeah, so, so step one, you know, you, you're already doing step one of a management plan, but you want a consultant to flesh the rest of it out, right? So as a board, you can say that we want to we want to use some of our use some of the funds available to us for you know green space maintenance and all, take it to the playground because it's an urgent it's an urgent need, and that's step number one of our of our pre management plan. So you sort of roll it all into one. Okay. 
If that's what you want to do, it's just as interesting. Board. I'm just concerned about you know how much it's going to cost to get a consultant. <laughs> you know, I, I, I agree. Mean, I mean, do you have any range ideas what we would be looking at, Jacob? I, I mean, if I'm consulting, I'm looking at around two to five hundred dollars. Yeah. As a consulting fee total. Just as a at, just as a consulting fee, um, that would be total. I mean, what would that cover? So, if like a city, like the city of Willow Creek, approached you as a arborist and said, "Hey, we are looking to develop a tree care and management plan. We'd like you to come and survey our city." Or here's our the, the, here's our danger zone. The individual spot, like <laughs> per location, um, and what that would come with is. An inventory of trees on on the site, and then a tree risk assessment of each individual tree, um, and then all all on all on the list. Mm -hmm. But I understand what you're saying. Like, I mean, does the fee apply to the whole city? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where it gets kind of confusing because when I do any kind of kind of consulting, it's roughly a quarter acre lot, half acre lot. Um, right. Not a whole um, subdivision. Yeah. <laughs> not a whole subdivision. An idea of how much space we have. As acreage? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I should know. Well, we've got the parks, and we've got there's that easement behind our place. A little golf cart easement that makes up some trees on it. Oh, it does. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a question that might be silly, but if so, we're doing side note, we're doing this tree survey. We're as the board going to go around the community, go around the neighborhood, look for these hot zones for oak for energy, looking for disease trees, dead trees, whatever we're looking for when we do the survey. We'll have all of that information. Would it be better than to start the talk of coming up with a tree care management plan so that we actually know, hey, we need to send this consultant to Champion Circle because that's where it's at, or maybe be a little like narrow down where we need them to go and survey just or look at it. Just yeah, just public spaces. But I think yeah. I think you touched on that right at the beginning of the conversation is do we need the do we need the inventory? And as we've talked about it, um, maybe, maybe we do need the inventory. I feel like we're going to, and I'm very new with green. So I feel like I'm going to learn a lot when we need to go and do this survey, but doubling it around, just around my house, I know I have dead trees and I know it's the private property, but Things that I might not be fully aware of until I'm with someone who knows what they're looking at. Um, having that more valuable information from the survey to take them and come up with the first few steps of this action plan. We know that the playground is a hot zone for limbs, but for everything else. For everything else, it, it's, it can get complicated mm -hmm. uh, recognizing hazards and hazardous mm -hmm. growth patterns. Mm -hmm. I mean, and and mushrooms as well. I mean mushrooms is signs of decay and mm -hmm. any kind of decay is is a potential hazard. Um so it can get really complicated really fast. Mm -hmm. And recognizing that to the untrained eyes is is hard. So yeah, I mean yeah, having the inventory I, I'm a visual person, so I'm imagining what our survey sheet will look like once it's filled out because I don't know what I'm looking at when I'm looking at trees, but I know when I box into the X with that meat. This is not an easy thing yeah. with no experience to do, mm -hmm. you know, unless it's just a or alternative, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But then we have like a lot of yeah, things around. But yeah. what is our plan? Our plan is to remove those eventually. Is that part of our mm -hmm. plan? Would that be part of our management plan? Y'all yeah, need to have one conversation at a time. Okay. I was just 
I'm just trying to grasp the idea of doing this and what it looks like and yeah. how to break it down to bite sized pieces. <laughs> when having a consultant and a an uh, an arborist kind of why couldn't we just bypass one and just get the one we need that can do it all? Having a uh, work order pretty much. I mean so a consultant would tell us what needs to be done. And then yeah. said tree who whatever tree crew would come out. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that we hire an arborist at a reasonable rate that, you know, I think at one time uh, the city manager talked about, you know, having a part-time arborist for $20, 10, 10, day, 10 hours a week at $20 an hour. Well, you know, that's totally unrealistic. Uh -huh. And um, uh, so why not just go straight for the, for the arborist? And, Forget about the consultant. All he's doing is talking. A lot of times they go hand in hand. You'll have a sales arborist come out and consult, and then his crew will come out and do the work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's got me. And um, yeah. there are companies out there that will waive the consulting fee or apply the consulting fee into the amount of work. Maybe that's something we can negotiate. Yeah, so we still have to. Okay, but uh, who then is responsible if that's the case for uh, for getting the person that actually does the work? Or will they be responsible for that? The consulting people. You said that they would waive their fee. Um, if if the consultant was also part of the same company. Okay. Yeah. So like the, the so that would be something to look for in consultant. And I think that's something Bartlett does is you, you pay a fee, they come out and give you a list of recommendations and then they take they, they apply the fee to the ending balance. Okay. And do, do they do that I get that fee in front or does it become part of what their um their proposal is for the work? So I think you pay that fee up front. So you pay it no matter what you don't have to with our with uh Bartman or the or the arborist that I'm using in, a, in another county. And every company is different. I mean, it's it's all about how that company is structured. Um, finding a company like Bartlett for us to work with, they're a nationwide company, and they would have a consultant come out and consult for us, and then they would find, they would have their crew also do the work. Okay. Um, just it's, it's, it's I mean, coming up. Just my question: Are they really doing a long-term plan, or are they just saying, "Okay, we, you got work to do. We'll do this, that, and then that." So and they're and they're gone. I mean, a, a management plan to me, you know, seem, needs to have a longer horizon. I think so too. You know, uh, so the reason I'm asking is because I said, "Well, I'm just going to Google, yeah, tree care yeah. management plan." <laughs> and yeah, you know, so here's you know the Austin um, Urban Forest Management Plan is here online. Here's one from UMass Amherst. A guide developing a street and park tree management plan. All right. Um, so you know, so since so make the, the actual plan itself, which is what the agenda item is to do, um, could be just lifting stuff that's already there, and then you know, part of the plan is then implementing it. So then you can say, okay, well, you know, we just we, you know, using this University of UMass. Um, guide to and it says to you know look at the most urgent things first okay so fine we adopted this plan you know now we hired the the arborist to go fix the playground which we've identified as one of the things to do so the the the, the action line or the action item is to develop a tree care and maintenance plan right mm -hmm. so prioritize so, what you need to start with right right so you know do you have to have a consultant <laughs> To develop a plan, I don't know that you do. Uh -huh. um, you I guess. definitely need professionals to do the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, and you're right. You can probably find a professional arborist that says, "Yeah, yeah, you know, we can develop a, a plan for you, um, and then we'll implement it." But I just don't think that. I think that's just sort of double work. Well, not so much as just it's it's not taking. It's not okay. So 
what do we have to do to make sure that we keep this going? In other words, I mean, a, a maintenance plan is just that. I mean, it's like <clears throat> our management plan, management and maintenance, you know, is is long term. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, is a Bartlett going to do that? I don't know. I'm, it's a question. Oh, I've never consulted Bartlett about anything like that, but you're right. It's a long term. I'd say starting at five years. Let's come up with a five year management plan. I I think on that, a timeline. You know, I think that that. Um, you know, maybe your possible action on that is to, you know, study existing um, uh, yeah. municipal management plans, um, come back with um, samples um, that you can um, turn the reporter on, plagiarize, uh, turn the reporter back on. <laughs> um, and, and, um, and then, I mean, the, the answers may all be there, and I've just never studied this before. And maybe maybe y'all have. I mean, you know, you're you're further along than I am, but it seems like we're not even sure what a management plan is yet. So to to say, okay, well, let's hire a consultant to tell us what we need to know. I mean, may not be necessary. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of money, but I don't, you know, you to come in and say, okay, this is what I think you should do. You know, give me five hundred bucks. Um, I think is is incredibly reasonable. And if yeah. you're really saying, okay, well, I need an urban arborist, you know, to come in and develop a tree care and maintenance plan, you know, for a five-year stretch, I think it's probably in five figures, not not three. Um, just I don't, so, I don't know that my that's just my gut. Let's research what a tree care management plan would be for wood trees by looking at other. Other city management plans, or oh, it, it was funny because or universities. I mean, I oh, think yeah, well, universities are a little bit different. They have more money to spend. Than well, yeah. part of their management plan, though, I mean, it would be similar to a small city. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not, or just even the golf it, association has a tree care. The what though? The golf association. Okay. I I don't do a whole lot. I mean, I've done a lot of inventory. And, uh, any volunteers? Just how, how should we go about discussion number eight tonight? I think we do some research on. Um, Management plans to see what we need to do. Okay. But I think it has to be comparable. You know, you have to have, you know, uh, be able to, to compare Wood Creek or, or size wise, you need to keep it comparable to what we have in our area here and not get, not get, to look at the city of Houston or yeah, like yeah, I mean, something similar size. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a is it an HOA or there's a small city we, we refer to fairly often? Is it called like Sonoma or what? what we, 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 got, we, we got a lot of our tree ordinance, um, ordinances from this small okay. division hmm. subdivision. I'll have to look into yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. But they may have one. Yeah. Oh, Rollingwood? Rollingwood would be a, a decent one. We get compared to Rollingwood, you know, fairly okay. often. Right. I mean, they've got, not from tax base, but from the. So if we table item number eight, we all look into what a management plan is that's comparable to Wood Creek. We can discuss it at our next meeting. Yeah, so so you table it so it goes down on the record as being tabled and and on the next agenda. Does that sound okay to y'all? Yeah. That's a big but in the meantime, y'all have your instructions to you know just Google it, find out what you can, and come back ready to report in February number twelve. Right. Okay. Good morning. February. On oh, February. About 
motion that we uh, 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 study existing multiple municipal management plans to see what we need uh, by looking at other areas comparable to the size of the creek and then come back to the community to discuss. Also, management. So you said rolling wood and um, rolling wood we get compared to a lot, but you know, you look around at, at you know some of the other it's like the tree you look at like Blanco, see if there's any Blanco, you know, maybe. like um you know dripping maybe, but you know, there's you know, any of the central Texas cities, you know, are you know, comparable size. You know, we can we get compared to other cities for different reasons. Right. You know, like like we get compared to Rollingwood, but we can't compare our budgets because right. they've got retail. You know, they've got sales tax revenue that we don't have. So, but yeah, that doesn't matter. Size size trees. Of trees. It doesn't really matter when you talk about trees. Looking at size and the type of trees that we want to compare to. Yeah, but if you keep it in, you know, if you keep it sort of in central Texas, also, yeah. you know, we've got comparable trees. Right. But you know, if you look at like you know that UMass Amherst. Guide to developing a picture. I mean, it's like, you know, that would be a good thing. You know, it's like, because that's not, they're not developing it for their school, I'm sure. I'm sure they're just, you know, just, just background information on, on what needs to go into a three point. Yeah. So, but, and that was just the first page of, <laughs> of hits on my phone based on the exact wording that's in the agenda, you know, tree. <laughs> and so, yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like I failed this board by not requiring us to take a vote for number seven. Oh, uh, yes, we did. Oh, yeah. We can. We voted for six, but I did not do the seven. So, postpone until September? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought we can. Oh, no. can, can we go back? Yeah, no, we can. Re yeah, go ahead. You, you, you can bring it back up. Bring it back. Okay. Bring it back on the table and to take the vote. I thought you did, but yeah, that's okay. I thought I did, but I then I had six, but we just pull that motion. Yeah, I you withdrew the motion. Well, if you withdraw the motion, it's not. But that was for five. Yeah, and that doesn't require us. No, yeah, that's table. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell that not yeah. Even yeah, just doing anything. Just until for the record, off. just take a vote on seven. Okay. We're just going to quickly vote for number seven, which is postponing um, discussion and taking action on the grant application until our August meeting. Um, Nancy? Yes. Cheryl? Yes. Jacob? August, not September? Not August. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and Terry? Yes. Okay. August, so you can have a running start. Yeah. Yes. Um, for September. I like it. <clears throat> All right. And then for motion number eight, um, okay. make a motion. Uh -huh. um, Terry yeah. moved to study multiple and multiple city. And Jacob trees. seconded, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So I just need to put that. Cheryl, I'm voting yes. Jacob? Yes. Uh, Terry? Yes. And Nancy? Yes. One more. All right, number nine announcements. Uh, A tree right. city. Yeah, so I um, I did submit the application. Um, it has come back for revisions, which they did last time too. Um, just one of the things was a glitch on their software parts, you know, so, mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's easy. And then other that just like, they want different wording for a couple of the, of the items, um, or just to flesh it out. So I sent it back to, to, um, Iris and to Kevin to see if they knew specific parts of the, of the tree ordinance. But, um, but uh, if anybody said, oh, I know the tree ordinance pretty well, why don't you, 
you know, I can send you the things that they, I can send you what they sent back is that, okay, this is what needs revising. But I just sort of pulled Iris and, and Kevin into it. So they're working on this? Yeah, we'll get it back out to them. Okay. Um, there's not as tight a deadline on, on getting the revision then, but it, <clears throat> I haven't checked my email to see if I've got responses from either one of them. Yeah, so. But it is in. You're all right. Thank you. I do want to ask one question at all uh, in regard to the crew management um, item. Uh, is that something that maybe Kevin, because he's been a city manager and may have, you know, worked with the uh, municipal league of cities, uh, or he could find, maybe give us a little direction in, in kind of where to go. So, you know, like blind on thinking we're not really comparable to blind cop. Um, do you think it'd be a good idea to ask him to come to our next meeting and possibly if he can be one help us out? Yeah. I mean we, can, can, can we ask him to come to the next yeah. meeting? You can ask him to come to any meeting. Yeah. On the treatment? On the yeah. management plan. Yeah. She was thinking yeah, don't get don't get don't get caught up in you know Blanco versus Bernie versus Driftwood yeah. versus Henley. Um, all you're doing, if you just if you're doing some research to see if what they have somebody's got a, a, a plan at all, and and then glancing over it, it's like yeah, here's some stuff that we could probably use, but it's not a, it's not a, it's not an apples and apples mm -hmm. comparison. You're you're not going to find an exact match to Wood Creek any more than you're going to find an exact match to Henley. But you know the you know they're all municipalities in the area that may or may not have a, a tree plan and if they've got ideas that we can use then we did we did the same thing for everything we didn't you know it's like when we were looking for engineers we said oh well, I wonder who Bernie uses you know not because they're exactly like us but because they have you know some similarities so so don't worry about I mean you can you're welcome to, to bring Kevin into the meeting um and he may have direct experience in developing or, or managing a pre-plan and have, have access to the documents even that, that we can pull from. Mm -hmm. But but don't don't get caught up in the you know Blanco versus yeah, I'm not caught up in at all. I just thought that he might be able to, you know, give us some a little bit more direction. Yeah, yeah. He may yeah. have some experience. Kevin's got a lot of experience. Know some if he's in a league of municipal. It's Texas okay. municipal league. Okay. Oh, there's also there's also the the Texas Association of, of City Managers. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so he may know someone that has. Yeah. 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 is a great resource. Yeah. For you know for us to all use. Yeah. And he wants to use. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll run this. <laughs> so our next meeting. Yeah. Sorry. I said it, what I said. He really wants to be using the talk to the about cutting back from the recording. <laughs> he doesn't really want to be thrown to no, no. Never being used. So our next meeting is February 12th, 2024. And if there's not anything else, I'm gonna adjourn this meeting. Adjourn. Awesome. So, uh, brought a uh, something of my attention <clears throat> and we all got this packet for the oh, yeah. for the forestry 